Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen tutorial is one called Combined by Janssen or Janssen and it is quite mind blowing. If you've seen the new Play Store, this is what, what it's going to look like. It's that scrollable up and down feel that looks really really cool on an Android phone. But one thing that sets it apart is that pinned header at the top that's always with you whether you're scrolling up and down looking at different shortcuts. Speaking of shortcuts, this home screen has it all. It's got your utilities, your weather, your news, your music, all beautifully designed, giving you that Google Play Store feel. This is finished off with an amazing lock screen. It's very minimal, it's very calm, and it's very easy to set up. So I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts, one for the home screen, one for the lock screen. So what are we waiting for? Let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before you begin, you want to copy this entire folder that you see in the description below onto your phone. It comes with your sharing files, which includes your PSD, your UCCW, as well as your wallpaper. One thing to point out is that there are two ways or two launches of completing this home screen. One with SS Launcher that you see before you here that actually works pretty well as they've now updated it and it comes with pinned widgets that you can see works really well looks really good the other way is by using lightning launcher which can get a bit tricky but it's still quite easy to set up so whichever launcher you best with or enjoy the most then you stick with that one another file that you want to copy onto your phone if you're going to be using lightning launcher is the backup that the author has provided and it is this one over here and it ends in 1048 remember that in case you get confused now once you've copied all of these onto your phone you can now begin so we're going to be starting with lightning launcher great so opening up with lightning launcher doesn't matter how it looks or whatever widgets on the screen as long as you can get to the background you can just move stuff away and then you just want to hold down on the home screen and then select customize lightning from here you want to select backup now you might be thinking, well, why are you backing up the phone if you haven't even set it up yet? Well, all this is doing is creating a backup folder. Once it's backed up, you want to go out of Lightning Launcher. You want to go back into your file explorer. Remember, we've copied that Lightning Launcher backup. And then you want to look for the folder called Lightning Launcher. As you can see, it is over here. You want to go into this folder and you want to paste that file that you've copied onto your phone, wherever it is. Remember, it's the one that ends in 1048. So copy it into this. This is your rest restore folder for the app. So once that's done, you can carry on with Lightning Launcher. You're going to go back into Lightning Launcher now. We're going to go hold down on the home screen. We're going to select Customize Lightning again. And now we're going to select Restore. Remember, this is that folder that you've now just copied that re uh, restore file onto. So if it's not here, you've done something wrong and you have to go back and copy that restore file into it. So we're going to select the restore file. It's going to restore all the settings that the author has set up for you, which does make things a lot easier. Great. So once you have restored the lightning launcher backup, it might not look like much, but as you can see, pretty much everything is here. You just need to configure each one of these widgets. So we're going to be starting off with the top one. It's our pinned one. It's going to be the UCCW skin. You're going to hold down on it. You're going to select the second one here called select another widget and you're going to be choosing UCCW. And as always, it doesn't really matter what size you choose as yeah, it's going to configure it for you anyway. So you're going to be selecting use up now. And what I've done is customize the author's use up a bit while well, there's a skin a bit and allowing you to easily redo the skin or change the, the, um, the background, your name, whatever you want. So you're going to be selecting, just go back, select the hand and there it is popped up. Now what you're going to be doing now is holding down on it. You're going to select the skin and make sure that it's got the little black arrows as that will allow you to resize, not reposition it. So all you're going to be doing now is dragging it down. Make sure that it just covers that side there. There it is there. And once you got it the way you like it, you're going to select back and that will now set it for you. Make sure that it resizes it correctly else when you're selecting like this, it'll go on for infinity all the way to the top. So you do not want that. And if you do happen to make a mistake, you're going to have to redo that backup just to get it to this setting again. I know it's a hassle, but once you resize it correctly, all is well and good. From here now, all you want to be doing is remove or repositioning re these bottom ones just so that they fit nicely underneath this widget here. So I'm going to get it, be getting it a little bit underneath, just like that. 
and you're going, going to be doing it for each one of these just so that there's a little bit of gap and you're just going to repeat the process for all the ones at the bottom now you just have to get them in order so this is, first one here is going to be your shortcut you're just going to hold down on it select select another widget it's going to be another uccw skin this time around though it's just going to be your shortcut so remember to select back first and then you can select the hand and it'll set up the uccw skin for you so there we have it like that you're going to be redoing this for each one of these it's first it's going to be your shortcuts your music and entertainment your utilities then it's going to come to your music skin but then when it comes to your music app now you're going to be doing things a little bit differently instead of holding down selecting widget and then selecting a uccw skin you're going to be selecting the app called now playing which is still in beta but it's in a fantastic music app you're going to be selecting the large one and then remember you're going to have to get it in line and then go back like that then it will come to your news and information and that's going to be your flipboard uccw skin which will fit here and then beneath that will be your flipboard and then beneath that will be your power or your power widgets or your widget skin and beneath that it's going to be your widget so it's widget so from here you're going to select another skin and you're going to be selecting a widget soid switcher five by one because there's going to be five icons it's going to give you a long line like this you're going to be selecting add new toggles now you can choose whatever you want i'm going to go for the ones that the author had the wi-fi bluetooth flashlight gps and orientation once you've got all the ones you like you're going to select the tick you're going to go into your theme you're going to deselect round corners your choose background you're going to be selecting custom color you want to bump it up to a nice white and select ok but then for your transparency level it's on 30 you want it to be on zero you want it to be completely transparent for your indicator type it's now thin you want it to be none and then for your icon color you can get it a custom color let's make it a nice grayish selecting like that there it is quite easy to set up you select apply and it'll now apply that skin for you all you have to do again is just get it into that nice position right there you're nearly done you're just going to select this one it's going to be your your weather uccw skin or your forecast and then beneath that you're going to be adding in your iron sky weather so you're just going to hold down again you're going to select select another widget you're going to select your iron sky cities it's going to bring up some options you just want to select your yao icons as well as your text color you want it to be black and your background color you want it to be white you're welcome to leave leave on show edit dots if you just want to change these again but for now you're just going to select ok and it'll set it up for you like that you just need to reposition it again so what i'm going to be doing now is just setting each one of these uccw skins from the top so as you can see it'll be quite easy to do almost forgot to mention the app or the widget below news and weather the skin you're going to select another widget and for this one you're going to be using flipboard you're welcome to use another another widget but flipboard always just looks cool on our home screen and there it is set up like that so you just need to scroll as you can see it looks really cool it works really well remember if it doesn't work you're gonna have to redo that backup in case something keeps sliding up in that it's just because of this top CCW skin that you need to fit in correctly one more thing to point out if you don't like the way that this top header looks obviously you don't want to have my name on it so you're going to be selecting it now if you want to change the background you're just going to select the background there and it brings up your select object you're going to be going to image one now you're going to scroll across you're going to go into image find whatever wallpaper or whatever you want and you just need to reposition it to get it looking quite good next what you want to, all you have to do now is select that again if you want to say select change any of the texts you're welcome to change it'll change this one your name as well as your location all like that remember it doesn't really matter what image you choose as long as it fits in the background then it's all well and good all you have to do now is just save it you can turn on your hotspots mode to do that you just need to select the menu there lock widgets and turn that on and it'll now set it for you remember you're gonna have to just turn it off again if you want to select any of these widgets or change any of these shortcuts say if you want to change say Facebook another one if you do want to change these I just recommend putting a blank block over these a white block and then just adding in the text and a custom icon but that's up to you one more thing about lightning launcher if you bring or go into your menu and it brings up your app draw like this obviously as you can see you don't you won't have half of these apps what you want to be doing is customizing this 
app drawers or just resetting it to, so it's your own. So just find some free space. If you can't, just make some. Just drag a widget over, hold down on the home screen, select customize lightning, select your app drawer, and then scroll down and say reset the screen and go OK. So once that's done, you can just move your widget back like that and then go into your menu now and it will have reset your screen so you got all your icons back quite cool like that great so that is our lightning launcher set up now if you want to use ss launcher i do highly recommend it just because it's a lot easier to set up you can pretty much you don't even need a backup file you can do it from scratch all you have to do pretty much is say when you hold down on, on the home screen and you select new widget you would select a uccw skin it doesn't really matter which size as you can always just resize it and once you get it to the way you want it you want to hold down and get it into the to the middle remember we do have a complete guide to SS launcher as well if you get a little bit confused but if you do once you've placed it a uh, UCCW skin as you can see resizing it you can get it to the way you want it but I do recommend trying to get it as wide as possible now when it comes to the header all you have to do is hold down on it and select pin and that's quite easy how easy was that and as you can see it pins all the top and lets you to scroll up and down now you just pretty much add in each one of these skins i do recommend say dragging the widget the weather skin all the way to the bottom as as you can see if you drag it down a little bit it allows you to scroll more and you just do that a little bit more obviously you can make it bigger or smaller and then that allows you for more scrolling freedom as when you first start you'll just have your top screen so you just i'd start with iron sky and drag it down keep dragging it down and so you've got quite a few scrollable space and yeah that's pretty much it now the tricky thing about ss launcher is that if you say swipe across and you've got your app draw over here as you can see your skin at the top stays there so what happens if you've got a few apps at the top that start with a or a number how do you get them lower down now it is quite of a cheap trick but it worked for me you want to select back you want to select the little tick now that'll create a parcel and then you select back again and you select the close box which will create a parcel like that all you have to do is keep doing that about five or six times and it'll create parcels that you can't see in the back here but as you can see i've just created a new one and it's pushed it lower down so you just want to keep doing that and yeah if you don't if you really made too much all you have to do now is select hide and it'll resize all of them for you like that great so that is two ways of setting up this home screen sorry it took so long it's just that it can get very complicated depending on what launcher you use so thank you very much guys for watching i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do it's our youtube channel as well as check out our facebook google plus and twitter communities thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing